Jeremiah 9, 24a. But let him that glorieth glory in this, that he understandeth and knoweth me, that I am the Lord. Welcome to the third video in our series, Glory in This. Thank you for joining me as we take a few minutes to engage in knowing and understanding the God of the Bible. Today I would like to talk to you about a simple tool that will help you navigate your Bible and expand the scope of your study. In our last video, I explained how creating a notebook to copy down verses from my own reading and organize them by characteristics that I'm learning about God. And the main goal in my reading of God's word is to get to know him and to understand him and his message to me. There is great value in regularly reading God's word and recording what you're learning. There's also value in having a more detailed study of a book or a chapter or even a verse in scripture, pulling the passage apart, looking at it within the context of chapter and book, and even stopping to study the meanings of individual words. Sometimes stopping to find out what the word is in the original Greek or original Hebrew sheds new light on the verse. But how many of us know Greek and Hebrew to be able to read the Bibles in the original languages? I know I don't, but there is a great tool that can help us take our Bible study back to the original to develop a greater understanding of what we're reading. It's really two tools in one under the name Strong. It's Strong's Bible Concordance and Bible Dictionary. If you already own this tool, you know that it's a rather large, unwieldy book, but it is one that can help you in your Bible study. Here's briefly how it works. Strong has assigned a number to each Greek and Hebrew word in the Bible. And once you know what the word is in the original text of the verse that you're reading, you can look up the number that Strong has assigned and read a definition of the word, see how it's used, how it's translated, see synonyms. At times, a word can have various meanings and be used in different ways in different texts. And if there's multiple meanings, then you can look those up and you can see which one applies to the verse that you're reading. It'll also give you synonyms, and these will be found in the dictionary. The Strong's Concordance will allow you to look up a word and then see every Bible verse that uses that word. This can be helpful when you want to find a verse, but you can only remember um, a word or a phrase that was in that verse, but you can't remember the reference. You can also use the concordance then to find other verses that have that same word. So if you're looking for other passages that could be added to your list of a particular characteristic of God, you will need to read through each of those verses, then look them up in your Bible to see what each one says in its context. But what happens if you don't have a strong concordance or dictionary? It's not a problem with technology coming to the rescue. There are many phone apps and websites that will give you access to this same information and sometimes much more. My favorite websites to turn to when doing a Bible study and searching for verses are BibleGateway.com and BlueLetterBible.org. I will often pull up Bible Gateway when I want to search for a particular verse to copy and paste into a document or to search for a word or a phrase that I can't remember the reference for. Also, one of the first things that I do when studying um, a verse and wanting more information is to go and read that verse in various good Bible translations. And BibleGateway.com has dozens and dozens of translations of the Bible. And you can read that verse in multiple translations and see the English words that they used to translate. Um, so sometimes that's a good first place to go when I'm trying to understand the meaning of what I'm reading. Um, but when I want to have access to the Strong's numbers and find the original language and do a word study on a particular word, I usually head to Blue Letter Bible. First, I type in the reference and I pull up the verse. Then I click on the tools buttons, which expands the verse and gives links to each word. 
I click on the link and then I can see the original word, how to pronounce it, definitions of the word, and how it can maybe be used in other verses. And you can see how many times that word is used throughout the Bible and click on the concordance section where you can see each and every one of those verses and how the word appears. If you want to, then you can click on one of those other verses, see it in the context of its chapter and book, and continue to expand your study. There are many different Bible apps that can be downloaded on your phone that will give you much of the same information at your fingertips. I downloaded one on my phone that is just the Strong's Bible Dictionary and Concordance. It's very simple, it's very straightforward to use. I've also found that the app My Bible is quite useful and gives options for multiple Bible versions to be downloaded in other languages. This is the app that I am re recommending for my Spanish-speaking friends because it's the only place that I have found the Strong's references and concordance in Spanish in a free format. My personal Bible study is usually done in my home where I have my laptop handy. So I have found that navigating the Blue Letter Bible site is the easiest for me when I'm doing a verse a word study. So let's just see how it looks. Let me show you how Blue Letter Bible works in accessing the Strong's information. Let's start with Psalm 18, verse 2. Type that in and it pull it up and it says, The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my God, my strength in whom I will trust, my buckler and the horn of my salvation and my high tower. I'm reading along and I come across the word buckler. Not a common everyday word in my vocabulary. So I click on tools to see this verse expand. Hitting um, clicking on the phrase will show me that the particular phrase, my buckler, is only used one time in the King James translation in this verse. However, if I click on, for example, the phrase, is my rock, I can find that there are several other verses where that exact phrase is found. Let's go back and um, look at the word buckler. If I click over on the Strong's number that's to the side, H4043, it will take me to the entry for the Hebrew word magen that is translated buckler in this verse. Here I can see entries from a few different dictionaries and lexicons with definitions of the word. And then if there are multiple meanings, I can see which definition is the one that best fits the verse that I am looking at in the Hebrew Chaldee lexicon. Scrolling down to the bottom will take me to the concordance listing of each of the verses that contain that same Hebrew word, and I can quickly read all of them in one page to see if there are other verses that use this word to describe God. In this case, some of the verses are referring to an actual shield, but in others, the word is used to describe God as a shield or a help or a protection. As I scroll through the verses here, I stop at 2 Samuel 22, 31. As for God, his way is perfect. The word of the Lord is tried. He is a buckler to all them that trust in him. Here, I get some more information that God is a buckler or a shield. To whom? To all them that trust in him. This verse sounds very familiar to me. In fact, it sounds exactly like my life verse, but I know that my life verse is in Psalms. Sure enough, as I scroll through the list of these verses um, to reach the ones that are find, found in Psalm, I find that in Psalm 18, verse 30, my life verse, I find that exact verse again, word for word. When I click on the tools for this verse, I see that the word for buckler is also the same Strong's number H4043, and that it refers to a small shield, perhaps like a soldier would carry in his hand for protection. If I click on the word buckler to see where else that word appears in the Bible, I find that it is also used in Psalm 91.4. 
He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. This verse has both the word shield and buckler in it, but they're synonyms, aren't they? So I click to see what the Hebrew words are that are used and translated as shield and buckler. And I find that in Psalm 91, 4, I find two distinct strong numbers. The word for shield is strong number H6793. And that refers to a large shield that would cover the whole of the soldier. The word buckler in this verse is translated from yet another Hebrew word, H5507, and gives us another description of how God is our shield. This word for shield refers to something surrounding a person to defend and protect him. We see this in the imagery of the verse itself, referring to God like a bird covering her babies and surrounding them with her feathers and her wings. In just these few verses that took us to three distinct Hebrew words describing God as our shield and buckler, I can see different aspects of God's protection over me. He is my daily protection, always at hand, like a soldier's shield. He's a strong protection, like armor, that protects the enemy from the enemy's weapons, or like a wall or a hedge to keep the enemy at bay. And he gently surrounds me, like a mother bird, protects her helpless babes, covering me and protecting me with his strength. In closing, let me just share some other verses from the list of occasions where the word buckler occurs in the Bible that stuck out to me and ministered to me as I read them and thought about God as my shield and my protection. Genesis 15, 1. After these things, the word of the Lord came to Abram in a vision, saying, Fear not, Abram, I am thy shield and thy exceeding great reward. Because God is my shield, I don't need to fear. Psalm 28, 7. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusted in him, and I am helped. Therefore, my heart greatly rejoiceth, and with my song I will praise him. Because God is my shield, I can trust him, and this trust can give me joy. Psalm 119. 114 says, Thou art my hiding place and my shield. I hope in thy word. I can have hope in God's word, and God's word promises me that God is my shield. Proverbs 2, 6 and 7. For the Lord giveth wisdom. Out of his mouth cometh knowledge and understanding. He, the Lord, layeth up sound wisdom for the righteous. He is a buckler to them that walk uprightly. The protection that I have comes from the source of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding from God himself. It's promised to those who walk uprightly, to those who follow the Lord and who trust in him. So I encourage you to set aside some time to let yourself stop in your reading And do a word study. Explore those tidbits of knowledge that you're recording in your What Do I Know About God notebooks. Take a few minutes. Explore other scripture references. See what more you can learn about your God. And be encouraged that as you read and study his word, the Lord will give wisdom and knowledge and understanding. Glory in this, dear friend. You can know and understand this God, the one who is a shield and a buckler for all those who trust in him. See you next time.